What's up everyone? It's Ben Kohler, the Tackle Otaku. Today we're going to do another deep dive into a, another one of my favorite subjects, which is Mega Bass Topwaters. Now, a lot of you guys may not be familiar with the Mega Bass Topwater line. There are 14 different models of topwater within the Mega Bass line. So today we're going to deep dive, we're going to break down each one so that you can become a more informed angler. So let's go! The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products featuring baits and colors not seen in any other dealer. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you come by our showroom and check out for yourself the wonderful world of Mega Bass. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of different colors and variations of Mega Bass products alone available for you to purchase. So next time you're looking for that hard to find Mega Bass lure or that specialty color that your fish have never seen before, check out thehookuptackle.com. All right, so Mega Bass Topwater. So many different baits, each one does something different. So let's establish a baseline and give ourselves a starting point, and then we'll break down each bait systematically. So we're gonna start with definitely the most popular topwater within the Mega Bass lineup, and that is the Mega Bass Pop Max. Now, a lot of you are familiar with the Pop Max, especially if you're a Mega Bass fan, because the Pop Max comes in tons of colors, and it's also the bait that Mega Bass does a ton of limited edition colors to. It's basically the quintessential Mega Bass build. It's sexy, it's sleek, and it performs amazingly well. The Pop Max is a half ounce bait, and it features see through gills and holes in the face so that as it pops, it definitely gets the spit, but it also keeps it forward and in a straight line path. The build of the Pop Max is more bulbous on the back end, which allows the Pop Max to not just pop and spit, but also walk beautifully. Uh, most anglers choose the Pop Max as a walking bait first and a popping bait second, but it's just an incredibly versatile bait that can pop, pop, and then go back to a straight walking retrieve. And you can get two in one motions out of it that you can't get in other poppers. So for versatility, for a size that matches almost every bait fish that you can find in any lake or pond, the Pop Max is definitely the starting point in the lineup and a great one to check out. All right, going down in size in the popper lineup, we go from the Pop Max to the Pop X. So this is the little baby brother of the Pop Max, the Pop X. This is a quarter ounce version, a little bit smaller in profile. This is more of a traditional true popper. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult to throw on straight bait casting gear. You gotta have your stuff dialed in because it's light and it doesn't really have a true weight transfer system, but it has a beautiful, subtle pop to it. It also retains the see-through uh, face and gills on the front so it maintains a straight movement without rolling off to the side or doing anything crazy. It's available in tons of colors, just a beautiful traditional more finesse popper, the Mega Bass Pop X. All right, the smallest little dude in the lineup is the Mega Bass Baby Pop X. So you can see side by side, it's getting smaller still. Now this little guy is 3 16 of an ounce. So we're getting really small, definitely more in that spinning rod territory or BFS baitcaster. Very finessey. it's got a really pretty little pop. So when they're feeding on little fry or tiny little bait fish, the baby pop X can definitely be deadly. So give that dude a look. All right, staying in that popper lineup, but now transitioning into more of true walking baits is a sleeper in the lineup. Uh, now this dude is called the Mega Bass Swing Hot. Now this is actually in their saltwater lineup, but it is incredible in fresh water. So the Swing Hot looks like a popper at first, but it's actually a pencil popper. So this little dude is actually designed to walk and move. It has that same kind of bulbous body as the Pop Max. What's really cool about the Swing Hot is that it all the hooks are on these little swiveled hook keepers. So even though the bait is small, when you get a fish that's on it, the bait can swivel and turn, which will prevent them from coming up, jumping, and tossing the bait. Now, if you were to attach a feathered treble to the back of this thing, then you would have what they call in Japan a Mega Bass Pop S. Okay, so same bait, the Swing Hot and the Pop S in Japan, just one features a treble uh, with a feather and one doesn't. But 
definitely give this dude a look. It's a quarter ounce, it throws just fine. It's got a little bit of a tungsten ball back there that just gives it the right movement and you guys are gonna love the way this thing works in the water. All right, staying at the walking baits, the Mega Bass Giant Dog X. Now this is the entry level for a lot of guys into the Mega Bass topwater world as well. Uh, this bait has been around for a long time, comes in a ton of colors. It is a incredibly easy bait to walk and use and the fish love it. Uh, now this is more of a true traditional walking bait where it's just gonna slice through the water. What makes a Giant Dog X more effective at times than other walking baits is the way that it sits in the water. One of the true challenges to walking baits on the surface is that you lose a lot of fish by the time you're fighting them to the boat. So the Giant Dog X actually is weighted in the back. So on pause, it sits more tail down. So as it moves, it has a more this kind of motion where it dives and then that tail sinks. So as the fish come up to get it, the hook is positioned in a place where they actually get it in their mouth so that your hookup ratio is much better than traditional walking baits. So if you're looking to dive into the Mega Bass topwater world and just get a super good, easy to walk, uh, great hookup ratio topwater bait, the Giant Dog X is definitely one to check out. Now the next bait in the lineup is getting a little bit bigger and this is the Dog X Diamante. Now this is more of like a super spook sized bait so it's gonna be a little bit bigger, three quarters of an ounce. This guy is gonna have a more aggressive movement on the surface, it's gonna pop, it's gonna make a lot of noise. It's gonna be better for when fish are suspended or you really need to call them up and have a louder, more aggressive approach. Now, the Dog X Diamante also comes in a silent version, which is really nice for highly pressured fish. So you can have a bait with no sound or a bait with a lot of sound, depending on what the conditions are and what you need. It requires a little harder jerk as you're retrieving it than a bait like a Super Spook or a Vixen would, but the result is also a popping sound that creates a beautiful bubble trail behind it. You guys are gonna love the Dog X Diamante. Going a little bit smaller in the lineup, we have the Dog X Quick Walker and the Dog X Speed Slide. So this is a little bit smaller version of the Giant Dog X, 87 millimeters, 3 8 ounce, so still very easy to cast. These dudes have a dual tungsten weight system here that give the bait balance and allow them to be worked very quickly. So the original Giant Dog X is gonna have more of a traditional slicing motion uh, for just like day in and day out top water. The Quick Walker is designed to move incredibly fast. So the bait can move very quickly side to side, which doesn't give the fish a lot of time to really truly see the profile. So if you're trying to downsize your offering when fish are feeding on little fry, small little minnows, things where you're having a hard time really matching the hatch, the Quick Walker can be an amazing solution for that because it moves so fast that the fish, they don't have time to judge the size and they just eat it. The Speed Slide is designed to be more uh, of straight motion. So it's gonna have less side to side, it's gonna have more of a straight movement, tighter and quick, more in a straight line versus wider side to side. So just different offerings to give you different tools for different days, but amazingly effective top water baits. You guys are gonna love them. Now the smallest bait in the Dog X world is the Dog X Junior Co IU. This is a small little fifth ounce dude that has an amazing finesse walk to it. So when you really just need to downsize the profile completely and you want a little slower gliding approach, and you don't want the bait to just move really fast, the Dog X Junior Coil can be absolutely deadly. It fishes great on a spinning rod, something like a Ronin, but of course, if you got your bait casting gear dialed in, you got your BFS stuff set up, it can work beautifully as well. So next time you need a slower moving, just beautiful glide bait that's small in profile, the Doggish Junior Kawaii could be the right one. Going the opposite direction is the biggest bait in the Dog X lineup. This is the Mega Bass Mega Dog. Now this is a ginormous 4.5 ounce topwater that's really more swim bait than topwater. Gives you a huge profile. You get some really neat things like swiveled hook hangers for when you hook them that you don't lose them. Comes in a variety of colors, both fresh and salt. This guy has a very aggressive movement. It's loud, it's wide, but 
when they're after big prey, if they're feeding on trout, herring, big gizzard shad, bluegills, you know, things that are bigger than just a small little shad, the mega dog is incredibly effective. All right, staying in the walking style bait, but switching gears a little bit, is the brand new frog offering from Mega Bass. This is the Mega Bass Big Gabbit. Now this is a three quarter ounce frog that's nice and wide and tall, gives a nice big profile without being too large. It casts incredibly accurately, so for skipping docks or for making really long casts, it's an amazingly easy frog to cast. It has a catamaran mouth, which allows it to pivot and walk effortlessly side to side wall spitting also. Mega Bass also custom designed a brand new hook that has an enlarged front taper. So the point to the barb is much longer than any other hook you're gonna find on the market, which allows it to literally just spear the fish when they come up and eat it. So if you're looking for a heavy, easy to throw, easy to walk, incredibly effective frog that the fish just chew, definitely check out the Big Gabbit from Mega Bass. All right, now we're gonna dive into a few of the crawler style baits within the Mega Bass lineup. So the first one is the Grand Siglet. Now Mega Bass makes a Siglet, a Grand Siglet. These are basically cicada shaped bait that are not just incredibly realistic looking, but they're amazing movement on the water. So these are designed to just be very buggy, right? So if you see a cicada or a dragonfly or some kind of bug land on the water, they have a tendency to try to like flap their wings and get away. And that's the type of action that the Grand Siglet is going to imitate. It has these silicone wings that fold open upon retrieve. On cast, they're gonna close so it has aerodynamic casting. And then during retrieve, it's just gonna move side to side and look very buggy on the surface. It's an amazingly effective bait anytime you're seeing a lot of hatches come out in the summer where you have all that terrestrial life. The Grand Siglet is amazing. Great for bass, great for trout, great for panfish. It's a very universal type offering. So give that dude a look. You guys are gonna love it. All right, next up is a crazy dude. This is the Mega Bass Gata X. Now the Gata X is part all kinds of things. It's got these really bitchin' metal front blades to give it that kind of walker jitterbug type look. It's got a prop in the back that spins and churns to create yet another motion. So you get these multiple sounds and movements on the surface and it's really just designed to just be kind of chaos on the surface. So if you want a really fun and interesting topwater bait to throw that not a lot of other people really try to throw because it's so crazy, give the Gata X a look. I think you're gonna really enjoy fishing with this guy. All right, and then rounding out the Mega Bass topwater lineup is one of the newer additions. This is the Mega Bass I-Wing 135. Now this is a true crawler style bait and one of the most unique crawler style baits on the market. What Mega Bass did is they set out to create a crawler bait that could be as versatile as possible. So what I mean by crawler style, if you're new to this, is you'll notice that it has these big wings. The wings will fold up during cast and then during retrieve, they're gonna open up and they're gonna force the bait to kind of crawl on the surface. Now, one of the challenges or limitations to crawler style baits historically is that they had to be worked very slow because if they went too fast, they would have a tendency to just roll and spin on the surface and not be effective. Mega Bass set out to change that completely and uh, totally redesigned the bait. They have an internal rudder that shifts and moves here on the inside. And what that rudder does is that rudder gives the bait perfect balance at all times. So you can fish this bait very slow or you can fish it at any speed, even up to a burn and it will track straight. That rudder also gives the bait a nice knock and some good sound in the water that really pulls and calls fish up to the surface. So again, if you want a unique style bait that's a lot of fun to fish, give the iWing 135 a shot. One of the questions we get asked a lot is, well, what line do I use for top water? Well, you can use whatever you want to use, but I'm gonna break down what we use and hopefully that'll help you make some decisions. So for me, you've got two choices. Choice one is to go straight monofilament. And choice two is to do a braid. Now I'll start with the mono. 
The advantage of a monofilament is that monofilament floats very high in the water. One of the reasons that we don't use fluorocarbon lines is fluorocarbons by nature have a sinking property. So if you make a long cast, the belly of the fluorocarbon is going to start to sink in the water, which will pull your topwater bait down. Monofilaments stay floating very high, and they'll let your bait walk perfectly on the surface. Now the two lines that I use are Sunline Defire and Defire Armillo. The difference is the Defire is more of a traditional monofilament. It's got nice stretch. It's very thin. So you could get away with a 17 or a 19 pound or even a 22 pound, and it's gonna perform a lot like a 15 or 16 pound. So that's where I usually go. Now, if I'm making really long casts and the stretch is too much, then I can go to the Defire Armillo, which eliminates the stretch. So you get the benefits of the monofilament that floats really high, but with no stretch. So you get a more direct contact. The other option for line is to go braid. Now, if you choose the right braid, it's gonna float really nice and high as well. The braids I like are the Daiwa J Braid Grand and the Daiwa Samurai Braid. Now, if I'm throwing a frog or something like that, I just go straight braid to the bait. But if I'm throwing a walking bait or a crawler style bait, I like to add a short liter of fluorocarbon between the braid and the bait. I usually always go 20 pounds so the fluorocarbon liter is stiff so it doesn't wrap around the bait as you cast. Now again, I know I just mentioned that fluorocarbon sinks, right? But when you're only using a two or three foot liter, it won't sink on you. The braid will keep it floating. It's when you use full fluorocarbon that the belly of the line pulls the bait down. So give either of those an option. Uh, I think you'll like it both ways. All right, and then really quickly into the rods. So what you want with a topwater rod, especially if you're walking the bait, you want a rod similar to a jerk bait rod where it's got enough tip to where you can pull and walk and have it bounce back and not wear you out all day. But with a topwater rod, it's better to have it just slightly softer than a jerkbait rod because you're gonna give it a little harder stroke and need to pull the bait a little bit further and the fish have a crazy tendency to shake the bait and come off before you get them in the boat. So it's nice to have a little bit more give to the rod. Uh, my rods of choice for the smaller walking baits are gonna be the Megabass Destroyer Automat Rod. It's just a great rod that has that quarter to three quarter ounce setting. It bends beautifully into the rod. So it's great for throwing something like a Giant Dog X, a Pop Max, any of that standard size walking baits or popping baits. The other rod that I use a lot is the new Megabass Destroyer P5 in the Mad Bull lineup. Now the Mad Bull is a little bit stiffer than the Automat, so I find that it works better for some of the larger baits like the Dog X Diamante. So when you need a little bit more power, it's rated 3 8 to 1 ounce so it can handle those larger baits and really has enough backbone to get them to move effortlessly. So check out either of those options, you guys are going to love them. As far as reels go, I would recommend staying in either a 6 to 1 or a 7 to 1 gear ratio. And this is where personal preference is going to come in. For me, a six to one is ideal for walking baits because as you're moving the bait, you're also kind of winding up the slack and it will eliminate you going too fast. If you pick up too much line, then you're actually pulling the bait while you're trying to pick up the slack and you can throw the action of the bait off. So for me, I have a hard time slowing down. So I generally go to a six to one on walking style baits. A seven to one works great for a popper because usually you're just kind of pop, pop and you're just like winding the slack and you know you're kind of going slow because it's more finessey. Uh, of course, if you go to something like a frog or a crawler, uh, you may want to go to a seven or even an eight to one so that you get lots of line pickup if you need it to hammer down. So I would really recommend for some of the lighter baits going with some kind of reel that's going to help you eliminate backlash and help you cast into the wind. Because a lot of these walking baits and smaller poppers, they aren't designed with great weight transfer systems, so they have a tendency to hang up in the wind and be difficult to cast into the wind. So I love the Daiwa Steez A, Tatula SVT Wing 103. If you're a Shimano guy, any of the DC reels would be great, or even the MGL series reels. So check those out. Six to one, seven to one, you decide. Either way, you'll be in good shape. All right, guys, so that wraps up our deep dive into Megabass Topwater. Look for some future videos coming on the water where we will break down each one and show you the right retrieves and really get super specific on the right way to work each bait. But for now, I hope this helps. Hope it clarifies what the lineup is all about. 
and showed you some really cool options. So whether you're throwing the big dog or the little guy, enjoy the Mega Bass topwater lineup. Cheers.